What does it take to compete in bodybuilding and men's physique? Is it about lifting weights? Or is it about what you eat? Is it about physical strength? Or is mental strength more crucial? Do you need to see success in your mind before achieving it? Is it about mastering presentation and confidence? Or is it the guidance of a mentor? Is it about the hours of preparation behind the scenes? Or is it about the moment in the spotlight? What does it take? Energy levels, definitely probably at an all-time low, to be honest. Um, sleep is getting pretty difficult. Um, body fat, hunger, um, peeing. <laughs> we have to drink a lot of water with the low carb intake. Um, it just goes right through me. And so I, I was tossing and turning to like 2 a.m. and then around 4 a.m. I had to take a piss and after that I couldn't fall back asleep so that kind of summarizes that I probably got maybe like two three hours of sleep last night which is not great it's very important so I'm definitely gonna have to do something about it probably get some sort of stronger supplement but yeah energy is quite low feeling actually decent today um, but most likely because I got a good night's sleep um, sleep is been kind of everywhere these past honestly past couple of weeks three weeks the leaner you get like your hormones are just everywhere nowhere where they're supposed to be and so obviously that sleep is affected because of that so you can imagine how hard cardio is for people who have to like you know 30 minutes of like step master 30 minutes of treadmill like andrew has to do like that's hard but yeah last night i slept decent so feeling good today Good-ish. Um, yeah, energy levels up until this point, they're overall though like pretty low. Like, yeah, you, as you saw, going up that hill was pretty hard. Um, today's lift will be hard. Just activities of daily living will be hard, but um, we're so we're like pretty much like a week out, so that's only. Today, this year, this is 2023, yeah. 2022. Okay, beginning of 2022, like officially, I guess you could say, yeah. as of starting my first prep. So yeah, like a year and up until now, it's like a year and three quarters, whatever, okay. almost two years. Yeah, same here. It was, um, <clears throat> I think Johan is someone I've always looked up to. I was working out a lot, but with the intent of competing exact same time as Johan I heard he was gonna compete and then I was like you know what like let's do it bro that's what pissed me off they didn't keep it but it's clean I think you're cheating bro I'll play 0.7 card but it's mixed bro she pisses me off when she does this like I said I just brought my entire fridge. After this, I'm gonna go see the business. Alright, I'm gonna not embarrass myself. There we go. Look at that. Look at those candies in there. Sprinkles. Uh, so, after the show, I'm really looking forward to one, like having completed a second, hopefully, uh, very successful prep alongside not just Andrew, but like another one of our, our good friends. Um, obviously like eat like <laughs> food, <laughs> uh, eat things that I miss, like kind of like being like a normal human again. Um, and then just kind of go into transition back into, yeah, just like using fitness and stuff and like lifting as kind of like the original thing that it was, was kind of like health and like mental health and stuff like that because right now it's like this is your job <laughs> pretty much it's like Definitely. you don't you don't get to say like you just do it you know what i mean and right at this point anyways like nine times out of ten you do not want to go you don't want to lift you don't want to be there kind of thing right so, 
Yeah. Definitely. Um, what I'm looking forward to the most is getting my ability back. I'd say that a lot of times doing something like this, um, it's, it's your main focus with everything. I have a lot more going on in my life now that I haven't been able to focus on. I'm really excited to be able to go full force in my new job. And, um, and yeah, like Johan said, training for us is, is an outlet. We, we use it to lower our stress, to let it all out. Um, <laughs> over the past few months, it's, it's been nothing but something we have to do. Yeah. So definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, so how do you guys both feel like going into PP? Money. <laughs> yeah, I think I, now I am pretty confident going into peak week uh, we tested out how I kind of would respond to a good amount of carbs on Saturday the response by like Sunday was was really good yeah. and so you know um, Johan has like that whole process set up for me so it's pretty exciting to see or to look forward to see what's gonna happen yeah feeling pretty good going into peak week like I think honestly I I got to my current conditioning like right like I'm like right on track. I think like last year I was very early for everything. Um, versus, yeah, I'm like right on track now. I'm we're seeing detail everywhere that I need to. Um, yeah, see the detail, the the size is still there. Obviously we're like flat and dry, but like that's ex that's, that's expected. But even now, being flat and like not even full yet, like I'm very very happy and see like ton of improvement versus last year so like to think right now that I'm gonna like carb up and then like have like my final form uh like still to achieve for in peak week like I'm I'm very excited finished in third place in the lineup of guys that he was paired with and he was proud of the progress that he made from his last season. Johan achieved his goal of getting his pro card and placing first in the lineup of guys he was paired with. This time, like I do want one of those massive like crumble cookies, bro. The second I oh my god get out of that stage, I want like this guy said cereal. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I want like a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, man. <laughs>